We're here near Annadale State Park in Santa Rosa and just wanted to give an overview of this front yard relandscaping that we did. So this was a phase two. We did the backyard here about three or four years ago. And what we were looking to do is pull out a tired old lawn, concrete path, and some old boxwood hedges uh, that were really a uninspired front yard. And at the same time, really focus on something that was going to be low maintenance and especially low water use. So what we came up with here was installation of a dry stream bed is kind of our main focal point running through the front yard. And this stream bed is connected into some of the roof downspouts. So this will um, allow water to percolate into this front yard um, at different points through the winter as the uh, drainage flows come in here. But we have a nice uh, blend of some big Sonoma Fieldstone boulders here, and then a blend of head size Sonoma Fieldstone and different size Noyo cobbles. And to me, um, you know, having that nice natural blend of different cobble sizes and some variation in our stream beds is really key. We want them to look like more than just, uh, you know, a V ditch lined with some gravel. So I think we accomplished that nicely here. Coming into the front here, we have a new paper walkway that tees off at the driveway and then just put in this wire arch here that will grow up with a couple of roses here. So a couple of roses and Japanese maple are kind of our lone um, higher water use plants. Those are medium water use, but the rest here is all low water use plants that'll really do well um, in our continuing drought. So as we come up, we see the little continuation of the stream bed here and then a nice little touch that we worked with uh, on the owner was cutting in a couple of these boulders into the walkway so that kind of brings the feel of this stream bed into into the walkway and makes those two elements um, kind of work together well there so we can see some of our plants like society garlic mexican sage some lomandra some berkeley sedge and um, some cat mint so a little bit more grasses to give the stream bed a natural type of feel. And then we also have uh, our pollinators like um, cat mint, like California fuchsia. Again, the Mexican sage there, germander. We've got some butterfly bush here in the front. We have an arbutus marina tree over there as well. And then as we walk into the front door here, we redid this porch. So previously it was just a little concrete landing that led up to the front door. We expanded this out uh, to make it much more gracious. And then we had used some bluestone landings in their backyard. So we repeated that bluestone material. We also repeated this um, calstone paver material here for the entry walkway. Then we link up over on this side with some bluestone stepping stones into a nice uh, blue fines seating area there at the, uh, at the side of the yard. So overall, this was a nice uh, redevelopment of this existing front yard, giving us something that's going to be low maintenance. One of the things that we did do is we didn't plant this project to 100%, um, but tried to keep our planting footprint centered around the stream bed, again, because we wanted to be responsible about our water use here. We didn't want to have something that we would, you know, plant fully, and then if there were increased water restrictions, that we would have a challenge of trying to keep this landscape alive. So that's really how we focused here, and I think uh, came up with a good overall finished product.